Five minute poster designs, episode two. Let's make this photo collage sports poster in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and drag in our player cutout to start. This is Ben Yacht of the New York Empire. And right off the bat, I'm gonna run this through camera raw filter and just start to bring out some more detail and mess with the coloring a little bit. So we can go into the light settings, up the exposure, and these are just kind of similar settings to what I do most of the time with my cutouts, a little bit of texture and clarity. And then you'll see like the skin tones are kind of yellow right now. I'm gonna make those more towards the red. Hit okay. Let's give our cutout some foot shadows as well. So I'm gonna make a new layer below the cutout. Hit B for my brush. Let's make it a flat brush and we'll bring the flow down to something around nine should be good. Make it completely soft. And then we're just gonna paint in some soft shadows under his feet and just trying to gradually fade it out. Now to set up our photo collage, we're gonna use text to split up the canvas. So let's make a new layer. Hit T for your type tool. Just click once. And I've got this font called Naughty Nautica Bold. And I'm just gonna type the number four. This is Ben Yacht's number, and I'm gonna blow it up nice and big. Now what it's done is it's created windows for us to put different elements. So let's start filling in these spaces. I'm gonna start by dragging in my first photo, which is this big one of him pointing at the camera. We're gonna position this one to the top window of this four. So to do that, I'm gonna take my pen tool and just mask out by clicking this area above the four. There's my shape. Now you can hold Command and click that shape thumbnail and then turn back on the photo layer and then create a mask on top of it. We can drop this below the four too. So we have the number going over the top and I'm gonna unlink this layer to just move our subject over a little bit. And moving on to the middle portion of the four, let's drag in our next image, I believe Yacht 3. Yeah, so we've got this one of him blowing a kiss. Just gonna size this kind of small. And I'm just gonna throw a mask on this. Actually, we can invert the mask by holding Option and clicking on our mask icon, which is just hiding everything that is on that layer right now. Now I'm bringing my, my brush back up to full hardness and full flow, and we can just paint in. So here we have Yacht blowing a kiss. Final photo, we'll drop in this bottom left corner and just a nice smiling Ben Yacht face. So again, I'm gonna do an inverted mask, hold option, click on the mask. So we have a black mask on the layer that's hiding everything and then just brushing in white. So now going on top of all these images, we're gonna drop a gradient map. If you go to your adjustment layers, gradient map, make sure it's black to white. And I'm just gonna bring in the black and white values a little bit to create some more contrast. And now I also want the number to be white. So it kind of just like blends into the right side background. And now we're just left with like a negative space for cutting out these images. I kind of want to mask out this left part and just have it on like a clean white background. So to do that, let's go to our quick selection tool. Let's select subject and I'll select the subject. And I'm going to invert this selection by holding command shift I. Now that's going to select everything that's not the subject. And I'm just going to fill that in with a white brush. So making a new layer, I'm just going to brush that out. Now I'm just going to add some complementary elements to the outside. So let's make a new layer, T for your type tool. Let's type out Yacht and we'll change the font to Coolvetica, Coolvetica heavy. And I'm gonna start filling the space in the top left. So let's rotate this around just with free transform. So it's getting a little bit cut off. And now I'm gonna duplicate this layer, move it over, rotate it. And we'll make this one say Ben. And underneath Ben, I'm gonna make a green rectangle. So let's take our rectangle tool. Let's eyedropper this green on Yacht's jersey and just draw out a rectangle. I'm gonna group these together and just call it Ben. Now command T to transform the whole thing. Just gonna drag it down and in with the G. Honestly blowing it out a little bit more. So we kind of have this even amount of white space. For the bottom right corner, I wanna make this fake logo. Let's take our yacht layer and duplicate it. And then we can shift it over and we'll type out BJ4. And I'm just gonna decrease the space. And now we have this like mini logo down in the bottom right of the design. We could also take the same green color and apply it to this corner as well, just so we have that consistency kind of going through the design. Now let's make a new layer, some other text. Let's call this one Ben Yacht and switch our spacing back to normal. This one I'm gonna shrink down a good bit and let's rotate it. Let's have it going up, I think. And we'll start it down here. Command J to duplicate. Let's type out New York Empire. Command J to duplicate again. Drag it up, number four. And maybe we'll go one more. Some of his accolades, two-time UFA MVP. Okay, now this smaller text, I'm just gonna space out. Honestly, we could highlight all of these elements along the right side, except for yacht, and distribute vertically. I think I want it 
a little bit more spaced out. I think I could shrink the text even further. Final sizing with the cutout, just gonna make him fit comfortably in this white space. And now going over the top of everything, let's drop on a texture. I've got this glued paper. Drag it up, set the blend mode to multiply, and we'll drop this opacity down to about 50%. Last thing I'm noticing is there's still a little bit of like blue tone in the jersey here. So let's drop a hue and saturation on top of everything. Go to the blues, get rid of those completely. One other thing we can do is instead of using a pure black on the gradient map, we could use more of like a dark gray and eyedropper it from our main cutouts jersey. So something in the shadows there. But with that, we will wrap up our final Benyat poster design. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one.